Hey, friend knows it's Ritz. Welcome back to Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. I'm going to go with the item, and we're going to go with... Let's go with the great, uh, the great card. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last great card out of your back pocket. The dad... Awesome grades! Brian loses 25 HP! That was a little bit of a scream there. I'm sorry, that was weird. You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it is kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Uh, Amanda. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Sean's HP, 65. Brian's HP, 55. Um, let's brag. Amanda here recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Brian loses, oh, uh, that's right. Brian loses 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP. Sean's HP, 50. Brian's HP, 45. Um, I'm glad, I'm glad that was right, because it's the opposite for what I see. Um, last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful! Brian loses 20 HP! Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get a top prize, a canoe! And we're taking it out next weekend. <laughs> How is that even possible? Man, I could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. John's HP, 30. Brian's HP, 25. You know what? Let's do child art, because I think maybe Amanda would appreciate it. Uh, you unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing on, of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute! It is very impressive. Uh, it is a very impressive. But Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Aw, that's kind of sweet. Brian loses 10 HP, and I regain 20. Ooh, this fight is on. Did I mention Daisy said her first word in 10 months? Daddy. Uh, of course it is, because this game is called Dream Daddy. Thank you. Uh, Amanda's was potty. So cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. Sean's HP is 40, Brian's HP 15. Time to brag. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Brian loses 10 HP. Brian. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy teachers about having her skip a grade. Even though Amanda kind of bristles at that one. We lose 20 HP. Ugh. Uh, but we have 20 HP, and Brian only has 5. One more brag we got this in the bag, right? A few months back, man started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. Brian loses 10 HP. I've got him on the ropes. Brian. You two seem to have such a good relationship. It warms my heart. So nice. Such a good loser. Ugh. Gross. Alright, let's get myself back in my corner. Don't worry, guys. I'm not gonna take over all the all the stuff. Ah! Look too small that way. Uh, are we good here? Can I get my uh Aha? Get my little standy thing. We can jump back into scenes. Whatever, okay. So take you guys are new to the neighborhood. Sean, myself. Uh, we just moved in. Do you live around here? Oh. Ryan. Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac around the co uh, coffee shop. <laughs> what a clinky dink, Amanda says. Uh, that's where we live, too. Ryan. Small world. Daisy and I are at the little ranch style house on the corner. Uh, I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Uh, I say. Uh, what a lovely place. Hey. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Uh, really nice meeting you guys. Uh, you'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Amanda says, as Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow, the corgi uh, that was on screen, if you weren't paying attention. Um, and then I, uh, you know, nothing to say. Do you get the feeling he was trying to one-up us? Mm -hmm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe the kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe he had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Uh, could have made it in com comparative horse studies. Sounds like a community episode. Um, it's not too late to mine on horse creative writing. <laughs> too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Arthur. Uh, we laugh off the horse, horse epic, the horse epic, and walk around the park in a bit more in a bit more enjoying the day. Uh, we can go to the coffee shop. We can go unpack, or we can go take a nap. All right. 
so we just moved in. We went out to the dog park because we wanted to go see dogs. We haven't unpacked yet. We're kind of tired, but coffee's probably good. Um, I personally don't drink coffee. But that's a good place to meet people uh, who could then help you unpack. So, we're going to see if we can get someone to help us unpack, maybe. I don't know how this game works. Let's go to the coffee shop. Even though I don't actually drink coffee and I'm going to be lying saying this line. I got to get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old hot chocolate or I'm going to be useless all day. You know, hot chocolate gives me that energy. I think we passed the coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. It's never too early to invest in a personal IRA. Dad tip number two. Never too early. Uh, we knocked down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Hey. Man, that is such a convenient walking distance from our place. Man, <laughs> real convenient. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Uh, what's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on the couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and have to make awkward eye contact with other people? Oh my god, he knows how awkward I am. This is great. This is amazing. Uh, at least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come and sit on the recliner next to me. I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Uh, yeah, he rants like how I rant in my head that I don't always rant to you guys. So like, how did they know? It's really weird. Um, what's that equipment when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it on the counter because you don't want anyone else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot as with shame as you consider the possibility that there's in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight now you're the jerk who left the mug? <sighs> Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! Oh, God. Walk inside. Hey. Oh, hey. Tattoos. Nice wristwatch. Uh, interesting piercings. Kind of like mine. I don't know if you guys ever see these. If you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you guys never really see, like, the stuff. The whole the whole face. This way? Yeah? I don't remember. I can part it either way. I just don't remember how I do it. But uh, I have to be able to hear the game. It's weird. It's super weird. Uh, but the inside of the coffee shop is extremely warm and inviting. Vital records line the walls and patrons lounge all around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player in to, next to a little stage. Uh, uh, one of the biggest issues I had acting growing up was uh, being able to say things dictiony well. Because I just read them and try to get the line out without like reading line, saying line. Uh, I'm going to be bad at that. Oh, his name's Matt. Cool. Uh, welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Uh, I assume it's a name tag. Oh, it's uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. Uh, it gets me mentioned. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose it's still a good idea because like the business is still running. Hmm. People ask me that question all the time. I give them this answer every uh, every time, and now I'm standing here rambling. I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Everyone's silent. So, uh, what'll it be? Uh, I scan the chalkboard menu and immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Godspeed you black coffee. Uh, iced Tegan and Sarah, or a, 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 a chai a a antwoord? Antwoord? Sure. Um... So I don't like drink, I literally, I literally only drink water. Uh, and then the milk that's in my protein shakes for when I'm exercising and trying to be healthy. Which we're taking a uh, minor break on because I messed my back up during 4th of July. Uh, but I guess the best, the closest is going to be we're going to say Kai. Uh, spicy. Oh, I didn't know it was actually spicy. That was probably a bad one. Uh, I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Diet, what is a South African rap group? They're, uh, sorry, I should, I should probably like give these people voices. I'll always forget them and probably swap them and you guys can correct me. Um, and like help me remember. Uh, oh, it's a pun. Diet, what is a South African rap group? They're perfectly well known for their uh, evocative imagery and hyper stylized music videos. The music is as catchy as it is disturbing. Hey. I'm doing the thing again. Hmm. But coming right up. Hmm. And for you, I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey, coming right up. Do you want that in a small, medium, or biggie smalls? Uh, medium. <laughs> Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Yeah, Matt, you should. You, you really should. If I order a, a, the tall, yes, I want a tall, I want a tall, I want a tall coffee, Starbucks. Don't give me the tiny, tall, tall. I want, I want a tall, I want a big one. 
I don't, I don't want to have to memorize everyone's things. Just let me be like, it's different sizes. Give me the like s s largest. Thank you. Uh, Matt, you should also do that too. Uh, Matt sits out to making our drinks and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the nice couches or one of the couches. I assume they are nice. What's his deal? I'll let the man make his puns. There are cooler bands. There are cooler bands than you listen to anyways. Hey. Hey. Scott was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good Lamar support. You, you sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. The man nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't... I, I, I don't know. Come hm. on. What do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and don't go outside, and I also don't talk to people. <laughs> See? We're making progress. That sets our drinks down at the table, and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Ah. Hi, we're, um, new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Sean. Hey. Oh, right on. Uh, pleased to meet you both. Oh. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around at the shop. You two might get along. So I'm assuming all the guys in this are literally dads. Not just, like, the dad type. Um, you know, not that that's anything wrong. Just not necessarily what I was expecting. Because uh, we're going to get one off to buy our daughter that's predetermined that, like, I could have maybe done better than the game would have let me do. Uh, you don't know that. I don't either, but I'll fight you. Um, you two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure I'll maybe come in from time to time. Man, I kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get you guys' opinion on something. That goes in the back and comes around with a fest fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Oh. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well... I think we're gonna have to taste it first so we can get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of Mina nods vigorously. She knows the game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana bread a taste if you want us to do free creative labor. I think that would be, uh, uh, I think that would be commensurate with, uh, I taught her well. You've trained for this day. I was gonna be guys, I was gonna give you guys free banana bread anyways. Right, yes, that. That's what was each priest, uh, man, and I happily chow down. Yay. This is amazing! Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Mm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Uh, so, so far, I think I like Matt. He seems kind of more creative and, like, artsy, which I think is more my type. Um, than just, like, oh, I taught my daughter well. I like the more creative, artsy, like, I want to come up with something good, but maybe I don't have a good name for it. That's kind of me. I have good ideas. I can't come up with names for them because I'm bad at that. That's okay. Um, so any ideas, I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you a dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kenny Kennedy's. The grateful banana bread. The right right said banana bread. Uh, let's go with uh, the grateful banana bread. Huh. I don't think you like that. Like the Jamrock band front of Jerry Garcia. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey, yeah. yeah. Grateful banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool. Once I said it, I realized it didn't sound didn't sound good coming out of my mouth. And maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. See? It sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. All my voices sound the same, by the way. I haven't experimented much, so maybe they'll get better as I do this. Probably not. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Oh. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, we're too. Should get back to unpacking our right, needs now. We just have coffee. We should have energy. I should get back to unpacking for sure. Got a lot on my plate right now. Did, did you know moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Yeah, did you guys know that? It'd be crazy if I had to move in like in a Jan or like January, February, and then have to move again in like May, June. Yeah. That'd have been crazy, huh? Big source of stress. I'm sorry. 
I've got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is it right behind constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? Probably. Do I smell bad? Better gives me a whiff. You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. Uh, dad tip 41. Run through the finish line. It's actually a good dad tip. Uh, I get to work and pack in the living room. Various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both uh, washing and drying. And we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. Uh, just heads up, my place looks way nicer than this. In the sense that... Uh, oh my god, I organize all the things slightly better. Uh, and I'm now trying a new once a week cleaning the place thing. I don't, I don't know how it's working yet. I'll let you know when I can get the Roomba up and running properly. Uh, if it works properly. First visitor already. Walk over to the door and open it. Hello? <laughs> Handsome clean cut man stands at my door branching a plate of cookies. Seems too nice. L. Hello? Yes. Joseph. Oh god. I'm gonna go maybe full stereotypically gay for this one. I'm sorry. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Sean. That's what my name is. Oh. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to tell you she baked them herself. Them herself. Diction. Enunciation. It's not my best. Joseph leans in and whispers. Mm. Between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? Mm. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Oh. Ah. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, Amanda disappears with the cookies. Uh. Amanda, come back. She's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. <laughs> Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. Uh. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, uh, I meant, <laughs> don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. What if it's too late to move again? Uh, yeah, okay. Hey. Is the missus around? Uh, mister, actually, and, uh, no, not anymore. He died. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. I... Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, accurately, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? Nah, I have some ideas. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out in the future. Uh, but we was uncomfortable and we made things pretty awkward. Yeah. Uh... I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but completely. After a second here, knocking the door opening, it's just standing there with a huge oh, smile. Uh... Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cold sack, and I would love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Hmm. That sounds great. And my daughter, Amanda, and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. Shake hands and seal the deal. Yeah. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Maybe I should do, like, uh... Preppy news anchor. Because maybe that's what he, his job is. We don't know. We have to guess. We have to guess, everyone. Just tell me what your job is, man. Or let me ask about it. Pretty early on, at least. Uh, Joseph starts walking away, but stops uh, to think for a second and turns around. Uh. Hey, in all seriousness... Hold on. Hey. I should do it to this way. In all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Of course you are! God, what a nice guy. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but... Suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. You seem nice. Man walks back into the living room, uh, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. <laughs> See, you're already fitting in great! Where'd those cookies go? <sighs> They're gone, I'm sorry. Hey. Makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway. 
I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. I think we're gonna get a ton of... I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. Huh. We're gonna be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts with kindness. Then I step outside. Ah. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Mm -hmm. It has it guys is the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. <laughs> Good eye. Remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. Walk up to the kids and wave. Oh, they're grumpy. And tired looking. Hey, kids, is your dad around? They'll just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to, uh... Return this nice plate, and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, it's definitely our Joseph kids. They look exactly like him. Or they're the brooding gray-haired guy from the coffee shop, because we haven't met him yet, officially. Hey. Christy, they were really good. Christian, ah, I'm sensing a theme here with Christ Dad. Christy, Kristen, Christian. Local, local, local youth minister. That's not a theme. Uh, I heard they were quite good. I didn't get to eat many. Any. Chris. I chuckled nervously. Huh? Well, okay, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground, drill gentle, and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right, that's what we're gonna do. Kids' eyes born to us as we scurry away. I can feel a gaze on us back, even as we approach our house. <laughs> I need to get something off my mind on the, off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Mm. You've been awake for, what, three hours? That's three hours too many. She's right. Dead to beloved, it's rude to ask people about their mysterious hand tattoos. Uh, unless you also have tattoos, like I do, and then you can be like, yo, those are cool tattoos, I also have tattoos, let's talk tattoos. And then it's not weird, because you've it by saying, like, we have local knowledge, I'm not attacking you, let's talk. Um, as we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps and come up behind us. John, bro! Hey. Turn around and greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Oh. Uh, so... I think Mini Lad when I think Craig. This is gonna be really hard for me not to think that this is Mini Lad. I just want to preface this by saying... I know the names are the same. They're different people. We're continuing. Bro! Dude, all of my other- all of my dad voices are like the same. I can't go like... Bro! Bro. Oh. Holy. Wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Huh? It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped! Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me. You're so big down. Huh. Hello and hello, cute baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and raves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers the next for both fathers. Where you been, man? Nice. I was working out in California, relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Man, and I just moved to this side of town. I was smashly doing what? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley's, Ashley's her name. I don't know. She actually still goes by Smashly, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. Hmm. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins, and it's all copacetic. Twins? Hmm. Uh, I missed the line there, but that's okay. Ain't life something, bro. Right? Kegstand Craig is a father of three. Hmm. Kegstand Craig? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands, you know? Hmm. Is that the thing where you do a handstand on a keg and drink from the keg? Or, it's that thing. I was gonna- I assumed he was gonna do what I would do. Just pretend to be uh, unknowing. This was not open. I was unknowing. See, you thought it was part of the gag. But really... I didn't know I closed it. Usually it's open. Um... It's that thing where you do the handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Oh. Right. <laughs> he was very good at it. Hmm. Oh, bro. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog... yearly. 
On January 1st, when I promised myself I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, we give it back for 30 minutes and just walk home. Mm -hmm. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I, I don't know. Hey. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards. Catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. Uh, now I'm thinking of that song, Good Old Days, by uh, Blink-22, California Deluxe. Um, it's actually really good. Check it out. Matt Skeeb is good. Appreciate him more. Thanks. Uh, all right. Sure. Sounds great. Oh. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is rifting his kids. I'm reeling. Hmm. Why is that? The Craig is not fit to be responsible for anything living thing, including especially himself. One time to watch him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Man, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and they drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. When I asked him what the hell he was doing, he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, it's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old and I feel later. I'm actually starting to get... Don't eat too... God damn it. Man and I flop out on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. My bad. Uh. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back in his boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Mm. Aw, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. I won't be. It's just... You're a little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. Hey. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. Hey. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Hmm. Of course. Are you okay about your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yeah. Oh, my God. Please let this game give me a dog, too. DLC? The, the, the dog, like, dog park DLC? I'd be all about it. Please? I'm like envisioning when I get a house that I own that I can then get a dog. And then, yeah. Free art school, I'll stay here with a dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium sized dog, hangs around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give my dreams and I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. I made a laugh. Suddenly a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college. Made darts over the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls them out, one out, and throws the rest back on the floor. Yeah. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. Mm. <sighs> but I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Get it over with. Rip the bandaid off. Let's go. <sighs> yeah, it's like my entire future. Not, not a big deal. Huh. She takes a deep breath and rips the uh, open letter with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Huh? I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee have reviewed her application, blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Her face drops. We regret to inform you that we're unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Oh. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, speedy. It's okay, I kind of saw it coming. I knew I should have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull a man in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put on your portfolio, and some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah. I know. It's, it's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine. Really. Trace does the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Eh? Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Aww. So... Get me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. Eh. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but... <sighs> well, I'll have you know I conveniently already have no have plans for tonight, so you'll have the pl new place to yourself. <laughs> yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I'm Sealy Mayor of the Tower. Gonna attend a union meeting, or I'm going clubbing. Uh, I would most likely say it with sarcastic, the most sarcastic tone I could, which isn't always the best, because I'm still learning. But, a maid of the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my 
mayor stuff. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? He was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go out and watch the game or go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's fix my sleep schedule. Let's go up and get up in the morning, go to the coffee shop. Let's add a mat, maybe. Probably. Uh, but, you know, I actually think we've actually been going for almost 40 minutes. Um, but, you know, actually, I think this is a good place to stop because we're going to go to bed. Oh, we'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Cut. I think we're going to go go to bed. I'm wiped. Have fun with the Emmas. Well, try to keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. And don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, Pops. Don't eat too close to your bedtime. But you know what, friend knows? I think that's going to do it for today's video of Dream Daddy. Uh, I actually really enjoy this game so far. It seems really wholesome and, like, you know, as as someone who, like, is, is gay, and this would have been great to see in high school. I would have loved to see it. Uh, growing up and like coming in terms of bisexuality because that was a whole thing. I have a coming out video if you guys are curious. It's pretty easy to find Ritz Plays coming out. Search that. You're good. Um, but yeah, we're going to come back with more of this game. You guys seem to be enjoying it. I'm enjoying recording it. And I'm sorry if like the voices suck or are weird. I'm learning. Uh, please leave any and all feedback towards that in the comments down below so I can know so I can make better content for you guys in the future. And uh, yeah, as always, friend knows, my name is Ritz and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. We've got merch available now. Check it out in the link in that area. It's pretty cool. We've also got my most recent video. I post two videos a day, so keep an eye out for that. And then the bottom video is one YouTube thinks you'll like. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't.